Uh, yeah, so... Uh, back in the... Or back during October, I created the, the static intro that I used for a while with the creepy face. In the background, which was just a Photoshop of my actual face. Um, and then... Now that October's over, I decided to throw together a, a different intro, but I kind of liked this, the static TV aesthetic that I had going, and I, I just changed that to channel surfing. I was just like, well, you know what, what if I, what if I make it so it's cha like channel surfing through my clips? I was like, I, I love the, I, it reminded me, while I was making it, it reminded me of watching TV with my grandma when I was a kid. I was like, wow, this is a little, this is a little nostalgic. <sighs> so I don't know how much of this game we have left. Um, if the game ends up being like, if this is the final chapter or something, uh, then I will throw in a, a bonus game. We will start the next horror game I want to do. New game plus no death run. I I almost did a no death run anyway. What happened to me, Sarah? I must go to Sarah. She is the oracle. She will know what to do. Okay, one second. I know I'm. I've delayed long enough. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I got someone killed last time. You didn't have to bring that back up. <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't mean to get him killed. I thought it was a cutscene. Of course it's the first thing that gets mentioned. All right, here we are. Uh, hold on, I need to make sure I'm monitoring audio levels or I'll f freak out. This game does have some audio audio balancing issues sometimes. Audio is either really quiet or really loud. Right now it's a little on the quiet side, so I'll turn it up. Actually, no, I know I'll regret that. I'm going to put it right around where I had it last time and, and cross my fingers. It always comes back to the Scylla was where it all began. The stream looks good, right? I was having some problems with OBS. It didn't want to connect to servers for a, a hot minute there. Alright, thanks. I'm glad. To our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the Miraculous Catch. Well, actually, um, I have it turned up quite, quite, uh, audibly. Wow, that was, that's a word. I have it, I wouldn't say overly loud, but loud enough that I can hear all the little noises in my headphones, and then I have it turned down in this, in the capture software. The Miraculous Catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. I think we wandered around this. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. I think she would only have slowed me down. Um. <laughs> we looked around this chapter a little bit, I think, but uh, I, I had the, I was, I was tired as hell, so I had to just save and call it a night. <clears throat> but yeah, um. I don't know how many chapters this game has, but if this if we end up finishing this without too much time going by, then we will start the next horror game I'd like to play. 
Even though October's over, I'd like to have at least like one horror game going at any given moment. They are, it is my favorite genre. Does is Maine known as the state that never sleeps? Well, I feel like there's a lot of people in Maine who suffer from insomnia. I don't know if it's something they put in the water. I think I just got up somewhere I wasn't supposed to. I tend to have trouble sleeping often. Or even if I, I could sleep for like 12 hours straight on like a day off and wake up tired. I don't know what the hell is wrong with, 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 with me. Could just be a me problem, really. Where am I, where am I going? No, I think you're right. I, I mean, there's a lot of, I'd say there's a lot of cities with the moniker, with the moniker of never sleeping. But that's just because cities are typically always active. I I I've, I'm lost s somehow. I think can't go that way, and I can't go this way. Do I just go down in there? No. <laughs> All right. Well, this would this, this I can get this far. Can I, can I jump? I don't think this game has jumping. I don't... I, I can't even bring out my lights. Can I bring out my journal? No. Okay, we're going back this way, I guess. We left off on a very, like, tripped-out part. My character is, like, on the verge of collapse. Or did I... You know what? I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. This is what happens when I play a game tired. I don't remember what happened last time. I do have a remember getting the bookstore guy killed. The guilt of that will weigh on my conscience for the rest of my life. Probably. Or at least until I replay the game and don't get him killed. We will play this again someday and get a try to get a different ending. It'll be a while. I don't have a god complex. Alabaster Point. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There, he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. I just want to see Cthulhu. <laughs> At this point, that's what I'm after. What does a god want with a starship? Stops here. None of this makes sense. Go! She is waiting. Yo, I, I just saw some tentacles, I think, for a second. Yep. Something over there.
Come on. Oh. Ah, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Dr. Fuller of shit. Got him. Last time I saw him, I gave him a lead belly. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I choose life, as in I would like to live. I was playing a VR horror game on my own time. And the opening of the game was having to perform an exorcism on a possessed mannequin dummy. Uh, yeah, uh, ventriloquism dummy. You first took your right to a normal life, the moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. Hey, evil. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. So, you decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. You rejected her half-truths. How will I know which decision is the right one? Is the moral conundrum I feel like I'm about to face. I feel like this is going to be the end of the game, making this like a very short part. But like I said, if... If the game isn't doesn't have much left we will we will I've got a backup plan it's right there I'm almost there
cool uh, atmosphere this part has for sure. How would you feel if you were presented with all of this in, in for real? Like, you were witnessing all of this in what you believe to be reality. <laughs> Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. He was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes! Yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. I've got voices in my head. Apparently. Lots of them. Audio broke. Why, why did the audio break? What happened to the audio? My game's haunted. Audio's back. Was that supposed to happen, evil? Is that what you're saying? Uh, uh it's over. can't let you do this. I'm not sure why the audio went out in that cutscene, but it wasn't that big of a deal, I guess. No, I need to start taking sleeping pills, I think.
That'll work, unless you drink too much. Okay, so that was it. one ending. She died with her son's tin soldier. Turns out there wasn't much of the game left. Okay, well, I do have a backup plan, but um, I want to see if I can load and... Uh do the other decision and see what happens. I'm about to get copyright claimed from like a hundred years ago. <laughs> I mean, you can still get copyright claimed for playing Beethoven music. Which, I understand, uh, there's been, I've seen an explanation as to why, and I understand why. But I, I think it's kind of dumb. I do think the reason is dumb. Yeah, that's what it, that's that's what I'm talking about. But I don't think you should be able to copyright a performance of music you didn't write. Or music that you didn't write that's been around for a hundred years. Nice painting, dude. Okay, so that ending was our character lived, but he was he was never the same. Let's see what the other ending is. Yeah, I was going to say, that's probably going to be the best ending you can get. <laughs> still still alive, but mentally traumatized for the rest of your, your well, 
however long it takes you to kill yourself, probably. All right, let's see what happens if we make the other decision and go through with the ceremony. Here you are at last, truth seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Let's we'll see if the audio bro is still broken in this cutscene. The man says silence very quietly, and then the uh, audio's gone. Why is this cutscene just broken? We, we did just watch it, so I'm going to skip it, but... I will perform the ritual. Just a prank, bro. Thanks.
Holy shit, there he was. Lovecraft is a cuck. I should probably explain what I mean by that. And it is very, it is, I would say, very much intentional, of course, that you only ever see snippets of his monsters. Like in Dagon, where you don't even know if the monster was ever actually real. I'm letting the credits play again, by the way, because I'm not sure if skipping them will skip the post credit scene. <laughs> you know, I thought about making an MCU joke with the post credit scene, and I was going to do, like, my William... Or, William, my uh, Samuel L. Jackson impression and say something along the lines of... I don't know, what does he say to the Avengers when he was, like, recruiting them? I, I don't even remember anymore. I have not... I don't know anything about Eternals. I like some of the Marvel movies. I have nothing against any of them. Uh, but I don't know... I don't even know what Eternals is. I don't keep up with everything Marvel does very well. Here's the post credit scene. Everyone was kung fu fighting. Why? Pierce is a killing machine. Oh yeah, that's true. Cthulhu just drives everyone batshit insane. But the fact that... Uh, okay, Tin Man.
I was tempted to put the Doom soundtrack on over Pierce just beating the shit out of people. Alright, so here's what I was going to say. We saw a glimpse of Cthulhu for like 15 milliseconds. And then we haven't, we didn't see him again in the post credit scene. It still makes me question whether Cthulhu was even actually there, or if it's just a bunch of batshit crazy insane people beating the shit out of each other. You feel me? All right, hold on. I've got to back because uh, I've got to back up because uh, this was a short stream. So hold on a second. Well, I mean, you can leave if you want to. Uh, hold on. Let me... The stream might die for a second. Let me quit out of this real quick. This, the stream might die for a second. I apologize. If it starts to die, it's just... It's, it's just Cthulhu's bad madness. Okay, hold on. I need to put something on the screen. Uh, shit. I should have been a little more prepared. I didn't realize that the game was going to be over in, well, 40 minutes. Why am I switching games? Uh, well, because we've only been live for 40 minutes. Well, the other game is over, isn't it? I mean, for now. Until I'm ready to start over and get another ending. I don't know. Fuck, is it? You tell me. Hold on, I'll relaunch it real quick and see if there's anything different. Oh, evil comes out with the truth. I already launched the game. <laughs> 